hello welcome back to my cooking channel today i'm going to show you how to make your wache with beetroot and wache leaves so i'm going to start off with making the rice i got my coconut cream and this one is coconut oil and this is salt and this one is rice rice is depend the quantity of the rice you want to cook this is wache leaves i'm going to use to cook my wache i soak it overnight and this one is the beans i soak the beans also overnight so what i'm going to do i will cook this one with the wache leaves and the beans together before i will add my rice and this is how beetroot look like i have peeled the skin so you can know the benefits of beetroot and this is the watching leaves as you know you can get it from any shop this is how the beetroot juice look like i'm going to add the watching leaves so i put the beetroot in this is the watching leaves and this is my beans i've washed it So I'm going to cook this one. I've put the beans and the leaves on the fire. And I'm going to make sure that the beans is half cooked before I will add my rice. So like this, I can cook it for 15 minutes is the pen. The water leaves and beetroot is on the fire. It's now boring, you can see it. So I'm cooking it a while before. Watch your leaves, any beetroot, any beans in the sea just so main one to me no copy say a bay a halfway me check him who say a halfway cook and some of the rice no a goom into me and cook right now I'm melting my coconut oil and the cream together then I will add some chopped onions. This is the one I'm going to add to the beans to cook my wache. This is wache special for Christmas. I can see that my coconut cream is melted. So I'm adding my onions. Before I will put it in the beans. Two minutes. If you add onions, it gives it a nice flavor and anytime you're cooking watch it if you don't have coconut oil you can use any oil to cook the watch the rice especially it will make it very nice i'm taking all the watch leaves off from the beans before i will add my rice don't forget to take the beetroot out before you add your rice you see all the beetroot i have take it out so please don't cook the beetroot with the rice this is the coconut cream and the onions i fry i have added the coconut cream and one tablespoon of salt i'm adding a bit of oil you can add any oil you like so this is how it look like you take all the leaves in case you come across it Try and make sure that all the leaves have been taken out. At the moment, I've added my coconut cream and two tablespoons of oil and a tablespoon of salt. So I'm coming to add the rice now. I've washed my rice. So I'm putting the rice in the water. When it comes to the rice, is depend the quantity of the paper you are serving so that one is up to you how many people you are cooking for so anytime you come across the leaves please you take it out so this is the rice i'm cooking it now may the rice not egg beans no see just so i mean 
na mo ne do do de e depende ni pa do do a wo no a e de ama wo no i'm just bringing the bottom to the top these are the ingredients i'm going to use for my watches still so i got 400 gram of paste tomatoes and 400 grams of peeled tomatoes and this is curry powder i will use one tablespoon and this is black pepper i will use tin spoon and this is one tablespoon of nutmeg i got goat meat and this is cow foot all the bone have been taken off and i got one medium onions i'm going to blend it to seize the meat and i got six groves of garlic and i got five paprika red one it's already cooked i just cook it for five minutes because i want the skin to be soft and when i blend it i don't want to use more water and because i want my steel to be more and nice and tasty i got five medium onions and i got one big pepper or two chopped gingers i got my spaghetti got my six eggs and gary oil i'm going to use for my stew this is the onions and the ginger i'm using to season my meat some small water so i'm going to season this meat before i will use for the stew i'm using one tablespoon of mixed spices and teaspoon of salt this one is garlic powder going to mix them together my white rice is still on the fire i just make the fire very low so that it will take time and cook it the way i like it my meat is on the fire so this one is time i use half teaspoon this is black pepper i'm using one teaspoon for my season you can add any season you like but as for me this is what i like for my season this is how my a watch look like it's very well cooked this is how my meat look like after seasoning it so now i'm coming to fry it before i will use for my steam i'm frying my goat meat and boneless cow foot together i'm frying my meat i'm frying it for 10 minutes then i will start my steam i'm turning my meat I have to bring the bottom ones to up so that all can fry it together. I can see that my beef is cooked. I'm going to use the same oil to do my steam so that I can have the flavor from the meat. I'm starting off my steam by adding curry powder. This is my onions garlic and ginger i grind them so i'm adding it to i'm frying my onions for like five minutes i'm frying my onions i have put four bay leaves in the onions then later i will put my tomatoes this is how my meat look like after frying it when i see the meat this is the stock so i'm adding to my steel i'll fry these onions for eight minutes so now i'm coming to add my paste tomatoes this is my paste tomatoes so i'm frying it for five minutes before i will add the peeled tomatoes i'm going to add my peeled tomatoes i have blended so i'm adding it in the stew 
and this one is the bell pepper that's my miracle pepper i can't cook without this it makes food taste delicious so what i show you i just boil it for five minutes before i blend it so this is how it looks like it's very good when you use for cooking you have a nice taste This is one tablespoon of nutmeg and I'm adding half tablespoon of salt. The salt is to your taste. Some black pepper. This is my meat look like after frying it. So I'm going to wait then I will put it in the stew later. I'm still cooking my stew. You can see that a lot of oil on top, no worries. After I finish, I will just take all off. I'm coming to cook my spaghetti. Whilst the water is boring, I'm adding some salt. Then I will put my spaghetti in. I break it into two. What will make you know that your stew is nearly cooked? You will see that the oil you use for the steel, all will come on top. Then you know that your steel is nearly cooked. This is my gari. I'm going to eat with my wache. And I'm going to show you the way you can use the water. Not too much, something like this. And you make sure that all it mixed. You don't have to make it very soft, no. It's supposed to be like jelly photo. Just small water. But don't add the water one go. Or just more water. And you mix it. I'm now putting some of the meat in the stew. You see, I have made the fire low. I have put some of the meat in my steel and i've lowered my fire so that underneath will not be bent This is my special Christmas awache. And this is my shito. As you know, wache go with shito. And this one is A. And this is my steel for my awache. It's nice and really cook. Very nice. I cook this too about one hour. This one is my beetroot. And this is the wache I cook with beetroot and wache leaves. It looks fantastic. This is the wache I cook with wache leaves and beetroot. And this one is spaghetti. Spaghetti is very nice when you are eating with wache. And this one is my gari. And this is salad. If you like salad cream, you can add it. And this one is some of the meat. I didn't put all in the stew because it was a lot. For watching my videos, please remember to like, subscribe, and share to family and friends. 